Hi everyone, I'm Kirtida and we're at the Adi Cook House where we bring to you the world's most versatile and innovative plant-based recipes. We're here to show you how, with a tad bit of out-of-the-box thinking and the right ingredients, can make plant-based cooking so simple and satisfying. Today we're going to be making a protein-packed chickpea pasta using chickpeas, of course, but also SoFit's naturally sugar-free soya drink. This pasta is lightly creamy without being heavy. Let's make it. Now to make this chickpea pasta, we'll need first the ingredients to make the creamy sauce. The base is cooked chickpeas, along with some of the chickpea cooking water, nutritional yeast, some garlic powder, onion powder, some white peppercorn and some salt. Now to toss the pasta together with the creamy sauce, we'll of course need some olive oil, along with some red chili flakes, some capers some more cooked chickpeas, some rosemary, and some parsley and lime juice to finish. And of course, Sofit's naturally sugar-free soya drink. Let's get this creamy pasta going. We begin by making the chickpea sauce. Go the chickpeas, along with some nutritional yeast, which gives vegan foods a really lovely cheesy flavor. If you're not familiar with it, highly recommend you get a bottle. Just keep it in your fridge, add it to anything you want to add a cheesy flavor to. Some white peppercorn. Some salt. Some chickpea cooking liquid. I don't have a lot, if you have more, Please don't discard it, hold on to it and use it. Um, it's going to help with the creaminess. Chickpea cooking liquid is, uh, as you may have seen, used to make aquafaba, uh, which whips like whipped cream. So really helps with creaminess. I don't have enough, so I'm going to blend this once and see how much more liquid I add and I'm just going to add good old water. So you want to blend it till it's nice and smooth. I think we have the consistency we need. The peppercorn have fully pulverized. This is nice and creamy. Now it's time to get started on the pasta. Now for the pasta, I'm going to add in, I'm not, I haven't turned on the heat. So I learned this from an Italian friend uh, who adds garlic to cold oil. The idea is once you add garlic to the cold oil and then bring them up to temperature, the oil gets infused with that lovely garlic flavor without the garlic kind of turning brown and bitterish. Uh, so I really like the flavor this gives. Try it, see if it makes a difference. So you want the garlic to start sizzling and take on a light color before you add in the other ingredients. We're not looking at getting that garlic tadka kind of aggressive garlic flavor, which is what happens when you brown the garlic. Time to add in the chili flake. In goes the rosemary. Rosemary has a beautiful eucalyptus-y, like sharp yet sweet, fragrance which goes really well with bean dishes. 
It's paired very often with bean preparations in Italian cooking, so that's what we're channeling. Make sure to not burn the red chili flake, not the flavor we're after. Now we're gonna add in the pasta. Yeah, and just like toss it. Now we're gonna add in the chickpea sauce that we've made. along with the naturally sugar-free soya drink. Look at the consistency. It's really nice and creamy, as you can see. We're gonna add in some capers. Now, capers are gonna add like lovely pops of that briny flavor, which is really nice in pasta. We're going to add some cooked chickpeas. This is optional. I'm guessing you have some cooked, you can keep aside some cooked chickpeas since you're making the sauce out of chickpeas. Just adds a nice visual element to tie in the, the sauce with the pasta. And we're going to finish this with some lime juice. The lime juice kind of adds brightness to pick this up because chickpeas and the soy drink, we don't want them to make it like they're legumey and a little heavy. So the lemon lifts the flavor. A final flourish with some chopped parsley. There you have it. If you want it even creamier, feel free to add either more of the sauce or some more of the soy drink. Okay, we're done. Isn't there something incredibly inviting about a tangle of noodles just waiting to be twirled onto a fork? Let's try this chickpea pasta. So the combination of beans and starches, um, for example, pasta e fagioli, which literally means pasta and beans, uh, which is the inspiration for this dish, or ribolita, which combines white beans with uh, stale bread, is quite classic in Italian cooking, so it works. The beans lend a lovely creaminess and heft to the recipe in terms of proteins, in terms of flavor. And that's what's happening here. The chickpeas form the base, which is creamy. You also see chickpeas, which add like a nice bite to the recipe. The capers add a lovely briny pop. Overall, this pasta feels like a treat that doesn't weigh you down. I hope you try it. Keep watching The Earthy Cookhouse for more such innovative plant-based recipes.